Now coming to uh, a patient who was diagnosed with Whipple disease, how many statements are correct? So let us see, disease of middle age and elderly. So uh, remember, uh, suppose you don't know this, so let me uh, keep it. So Whipple disease, uh, we are studying in medicine, so of course you will not see this in pediatrics. So again, it is a disease of middle age and elderly. So this, is, this becomes a true statement, correct? Is it autoimmune? No, it is an infection. It is uh, due to atrophy rima Whipple. So, trophy rima vipelli se hota hai, which is a bacteria in uh, actinomycetes group mein aata hai. So, that is uh, not an autoimmune, this is an absolute false statement. It involves GIT, Whipple disease patient. So, remember, Whipple disease patient will have weight loss. Patient core kya hoga? There will be hyperpigmentation. Then uh, you can notice uh, uh, there is infection and infection with trophy rima vipelli then patient can develop polyarthritis polyarthritis so iska matlab this statement is also correct this is true statement then uh, a patient will you will see like pass positive macrophage in lamina propria then patient can develop loose stool there will be enteritis and patient can develop steatoria and two more things I will add here like with enteritis there can be encephalitis like feature so just I can say encephalitis like feature so we call this neuro whipples and there can be culture negative endocarditis culture negative endocarditis so these all features of whipples you can remember by mnemonic whipples Whipples. So, the CNS involved over GIT over here, joint. So, this is a true statement. Proximal and distal small intestines involvement. Yes, it can involve both proximal. Uh, proximal is more involved. So, this is again a true statement. So, kya galat hai? This is a wrong statement. So, A is correct. C is correct. D is correct. So, answer will be A, C, D. They are asking you how many are correct. So, kitne correct hai? Teen correct hai. So, answer will be three. Simple.